Do you guys know the three terms saturated, unsaturated, and supersaturated? Well, today, Selena and I are going to tell you about these three solutions. Saturated solutions. Containing as much solute as possible without forming a precipitate. Maximum concentration. This diagram shows that the solute is dissolving and the solution cannot dissolve all of the solute, so a little bit is left over at the bottom. An unsaturated solution are solutions that can dissolve more solute. And an example of this is an ocean. This diagram shows the solute completely dissolving in the solution. Supersaturated solution. It's a solution that is heated in order to dissolve more of the solute. This diagram shows the solute dissolving and heat helping to dissolve more of the solute than the solution can do alone. What happens when a solution is cooled down from an unsaturated solution to a saturated solution? When temperature is cooled, the solution becomes saturated. Solution cannot hold any more particles, so they fall to the bottom of the container. How can you tell just by looking? Well, I could tell you. Saturated, you see the particles at the bottom of the container. The solution cannot dissolve any more of the solute. Unsaturated, everything in the container is completely dissolved. And supersaturated, when you add heat, almost all of the particles can dissolve. Solubility equilibrium. When a chemical compound in the solid state is in chemical equilibrium with a solution of that compound. An example of that is supersaturated. The, the end. end. <laughs> the end. Now we're going to show you a video on saturated, unsaturated, and supersaturated solutions. So this is a super saturated solution of sodium acetate. I made it this morning for you guys. What I did is I took about 600 or 700 grams of sodium acetate and I put it in the bottom of this flask and I added 25 milliliters of water. And it wouldn't dissolve. So even though I stirred it up, it still wouldn't dissolve. So what I did is I heated it up. And usually for solids, if you increase the temperature, their solubility increases. That's true for almost all solids. And then I cooled it back down to pretty close to room temperature right now. And now all of it is dissolved. So what type of solution do I have? So, yeah, super saturated now. And so, of course, you guys know that super saturated solutions are pretty unstable. In that, when you add a seam crystal, they'll kick back out to their saturated state, won't they? And so I have a seam crystal here. And let's just add a little bit. Doesn't require very much. Just one tiny crystal. And I'm making a little bit of a mess here. And I'll add that to my flask. And watch very carefully as that sea crystal enters the solution of super saturated sodium acetate uh, crystals. The sodiums and acetates recognize that crystal structure. And can you guys see the sea crystal growing? Yeah, it's starting, it, it gets a little bit spiky, and it's going to continue to form that crystal until it returns back to its saturated state. So we have, uh, we're going from super saturated, and when that's done crystallizing, it'll be back to its saturated state. Now, it took heat to get this all to dissolve. So what do you think it feels like right now, now that it's actually gone back in the other direction? It takes heat to get it to dissolve. When it comes out of solution, it's going to give off heat, isn't it? Or won't it? And so this is actually quite warm. And they actually make uh, portable hot packs with this stuff right now. In fact, I saw it at the store this past weekend. They were they were selling some. Yeah, 
and you can regenerate these. All I need to do is throw this back on a hot plate and heat it back up, get it all to go into solution, and then I cool it back slowly to room temperature, and I've got myself a super saturated solution once more. Sort of kind of cool, isn't it? Okay.